Hey gang, Mark Zona and two techniques for really cold water fishing. And generally I'm gonna to talk to you like kinda of 40 to 50 degree water. You hear a lot of times bass get in wintering holes, okay? And generally a wintering hole is where there's a lot of them, all right? So I'm gonna to talk to you about two different techniques. One of them is going to be an umbrella rig, okay? What I call the widow maker. And the other one is a drop shot and, and a drop shot and an umbrella rig, really, really powerful in 40 to 50 degree water. But number one, when do I use one over the other? If you look at this striking titanium umbrella rig, the titanium's great because basically that titanium bends and there's a couple advantages of that. Number one, when you catch one, it comes right back into shape. But the other one is I'm able to flare that umbrella rig. I've shot so many shows with it to where I can make, by just moving the reel handle, I can make that umbrella rig, I can make it really breathe. The other thing about it is, really, if you look at the whole setup, is I use very, very light heads, like an eighth ounce or a 3 16 ounce. I use small, 3.25. Look, when the water's warmer and the fish are on bigger forage, I'll use a 375 Rage Swimmer. I'll, I'll use it up to a 475 Rage Swimmer. But a lot of times in cold water, I believe their forage is smaller. The other thing about this, if you look at this entire setup, okay, number one, the rod I use is a Mark Rose Signature Series Lose Swim Bait Rod, okay? It's a seven and a half foot rod. But what I like about that is a lot of people, when they think about an umbrella rig, they think you need to use a broomstick. You don't. I actually want a little bit of tip with a lot of backbone. The other thing that I get out of that seven and a half foot rod, the whole key to an umbrella rig, reach out and touch somebody. But anyway, in that cold water, when I go for an umbrella rig, really two different situations. Number one, I'm always slow rolling it. And generally, that's what I use to find them. That's what I'm gonna, that's the first bullet in my gun. That's the fastball to get out there and just get a bite, okay? The other thing is, look, the reason the water's cold is general, <laughs> generally the, the weather sucks, right? The worse the weather gets, whether it's wind or snow or sleet or rain, that's when I'm gonna come out with this. The harsher the conditions, to me, the better that that umbrella rig actually performs. After I get a bite and clean their clock with this, that's when I'll switch over to a drop shot. And, and a couple things about a drop shot, whether I'm using a Strike King half shell, a Baby Z2, a smaller dream shot. Number one, I want a very, very small profile. Number two, I want you to look at this drop shot right here that I have rigged up. You look at that and you're like, Wow, that is a really short leader on there. Absolutely is. If there's one thing to remember about cold, cold water, drop shotting, short leader. Just remember this for your cold water fishing. Longer the leader, more action. So if you go to a 15 to an 18 to a 20 inch leader from your weight to your hook, you're gonna get more action out of that Baby Z2. That leader right there is about three to four inches it'll make that bait be a lot more subtle, okay? Again here, you're just looking at a Luz Mark Zona Signature Series seven foot all purpose rod. And the other thing about this, I get a lot of, really a lot of questions. Fishing in cold water can suck, or it could be some of the best fishing of the entire year. Generally, when you find one, you're gonna find more than one. What I'll try to do is you look at a map, Okay, you look at a map, any depression, any depression on a giant flat, like it could be eight foot of water, eight foot of water, and, and a lot of flats will have a suck hole that will go 12 to 15 feet of water. Bass will winter in that depression. The other thing that I look for, and I've done so many videos for Strike King and Lose about this, is find the last live grass the deepest live grass you can find. Whether you're chasing a depression on a flat or chasing the last live grass on your lake, the deepest live grass, you will find cold water bass. But remember that, come out with an umbrella rig first, back it up, back it up 
with a drop shot with a short leader, you're going to catch a lot of cold water bass. Cold. I almost had it perfect. Cold water bass.